Well, it's official. I have no idea where the hell we are. No shit, Eli. That's the whole point of being lost. God, you're a fucktard. Fucktard, huh? You know, I'm not the one that got us into this shit in the first place. Bullshit. You were the one reading the compass, you the one that made us go to that cliff, and then you were the one that clumsily dropped it off the edge. How is it not your fault? You know, if you hadn't tried to grab it out of my hand, we wouldn't have fought over it, and it wouldn't have gone flying over the edge of that bloody cliff in the first place. <laughs> no, if you had have given me the ancient thing in the first place, I could have read it, and then I could have led us back to camp and be comfortably making fun of you in front of everyone back at camp. Yeah, okay. What's so fucking funny? What? You reading a compass? I mean, you can't even read a book. <laughs> you know what, Eli? For? I should have just pushed you off the edge of that cliff, Eli. I could have told everyone you slipped and died. Nobody would care, okay? Everybody hates you. No. And it's your own fault. You are so weird. No, look. You know, I could try to turn you to shit right now if I wanted to, but it's not gonna, get, it's not gonna help either of us get out of this deep fuckery now, is it? Is it? God, Buddha. Anyone up there? Why? Does amazing handsome me have to be stuck out here with Eli Meeks from Planet Freaks? You know, I could give you a thousand reasons why, but right now just one comes to mind. Yeah, right. You remember last week when you were standing in the quad with your friends and Arlene Kennedy walked past? Oh, vaguely. I think your exact words to her were, hey guys, I think now would be a great time to go whale watching. So, it's my fault she's fat. Oh, she was so upset by that. Eli, what's your point? My point is you're a fucking asshole. And you bloody well have this coming. You know, the real question should be, why did I get stuck out here with you? Eli, shut the fuck up, okay? I can't stand being out in this heat and listening to your whining, alright? Just shut up. Shut up. Are you for real right now? Like, David Bowden, the guy that all girls dream of, is throwing a tantrum like a little baby. Did I say shut the fuck up? Rest my case. Oh. All right, Eli. I'm, so I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I overreacted. <laughs> really? You're sorry. After everything that we've been through, you're sorry now? <laughs> I don't believe it. Yeah, well look, I'm surprised too, okay, but... Eli, what, what if we don't make it out of here? Like, like, what if we die here? Well... Look, we got into this shit together, so... We're gonna get out of it together. Sounds like cooperation. I, I'd honestly rather slam my head in a car door. You know, yeah, well, you know, we used to cooperate a hell of a lot before. Back when we used to be friends. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Man, how did we go from being best friends, reading comics in my treehouse, to hating each other and, like, worst enemies on the planet? I don't know. Oh, I don't know, things change, I guess. I mean, you went off to join Dean and Arsehole Incorporated, so... Hey, listen. Look, you don't get to talk about them like that, okay? They're my friends. And if you're trying to repair this friendship or whatever you're trying to do, don't hold your breath, okay? I'm not interested. Yeah, there's not a chance of that happening. Look, we have to work together to get out of here, okay? So we can go back to hating each other, right? Hating each other? So hating each other. Come on, man. If you fucking tell anyone about this, I'll kill you. 